<clears throat> Good morning, YouTube. It is uh, Wednesday, January 19th, 2022, 1 39 p.m. I managed to get out the door a little earlier today. Um, basically, trying to get what I didn't get done yesterday done, which was essentially um, things I would have done on Monday if Monday wasn't a holiday um, a little groggy right now I didn't sleep very good again last night um, but at some point in the day I slept good because I don't I, I vaguely remember being awake at 7 o'clock in the morning and woke up and it was after after 1 p.m. so um well after 1 p.m. so I guess those hours at least I slept some of those hours must have slept pretty good uh anyway I'm gonna try to do try to do the journey I did yesterday <clears throat> to the uh, Amazon PHX3 uh fulfillment center in hopes I can get help obtaining my shoes that I need for the job which starts on Sunday right that was pretty much the sum of my day yesterday and I ended up getting there about I don't know 20 minutes late and and uh, doors were locked there was no no one I could go in and talk to about um, about my issue and and I ended up just, you know, long, long bus journey there, long bus journey back. Bus journey there was frustrating as all hell. Bus journey back, not so bad. Um, I, uh, yeah, gosh. Um, and, and I could detail that, but I don't think anybody really cares. And I, and I remember it pretty well. And I think if I go through all the videos from yesterday, I can put the pieces together. So. Probably I should concentrate on going forward. <clears throat> Although, <coughs> oh God, something in my throat, yikes. Although, it seems like, um, yeah, I, I'm, I haven't, I don't feel like I've hit the point in this week where I can go forward because I keep, um, just constant reminders of like, everything I need to go back to because I did so many things I'm, I, there's so many things I, I try to do and then I I, I fail at them I don't want to say it's because I don't have my car but there's there's clearly more to it than that sorry my left shoe came untied again it's a non-stop battle I try to keep my shoes tied uh, hope these Amazon shoes that I get are better at staying tied than these damn old Nikes that I wear I got a compliment on these Nikes last week from somebody random. I was, it was a cool looking old school Nikes. And, uh, you know, honestly, my only complaint on these shoes is they're, they're exceedingly, I'm blocking the camera, whoops. Uh, they, they, exceedingly difficult to get tied in the way that they stay tied. Um, but they are really comfortable and, and they look, they look damn good. I, I love the style of them. They're, uh, just, I mean, they're pretty plain. Can I get them on camera? There we go. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, white sole, black shoes. Neon green swoosh. They look damn cool in black light, by the way. Uh, anyway, I was not shooting video to talk about my shoes. Um, oh, so, yeah, so I, I, I struggle with, I'm struggling with just things I'm, I, I set out to do and I just don't get finished. Like, I, I still, you know, I'm almost two thirds of the way through the month and I'm looking at next, you know, as of Sunday. Well, I'm looking as of tomorrow, actually, being pretty damn busy all the time between Amazon and, and my usual uh, people living in those bushes and I can hear them. Wow, there's somebody with his pants down around his ankles in those bushes. Yikes. 
Big yikes. Um, this is so weird. This was just not an area that had issues with homelessness when I moved here just six years ago. Um, so I want to say it wasn't an issue that really had issues with homelessness. An area that really had issues with homelessness as, as recent as two years ago. Uh, anyway, I got another person on his bike on a sidewalk. You know, I got sympathy for people that are riding their bike on a sidewalk on, on big, wide, busy streets that have obscene amounts of lanes on them and no bike lane. But there's absolutely no reason to ride on this sidewalk. Oak is... <laughs> I was going to say Oak is plenty wide, but then again, there goes that semi right up against the curb, so... Get the stand corrected. <clears throat> Oh gosh. So anyway, after yesterday's bus ride, um, and just how much, how difficult it was, I, I'm gonna stick out waiting for the 44 South, no matter how long it takes. And if I gotta stay in there for 40 minutes, I'm gonna stay in there for 40 minutes because all the, just, oh man, it's just the transfers that I went through all the hassles I went through trying to take a different route to that Amazon government center yesterday. I, maybe they saved me time. Uh, any amount of time they saved me certainly will not with the hassle involved. Um, whereas, whereas going this way, that's this is the way I came back, and you know closer, closer bus stop. Um, it's actually quite enjoyable going from the end of the 44 at. Uh, 44th Street Sky Train Station. Down the length of the Sky Train and then the short walk from the Terminal 3 Sky Train, Sky Train Station over to uh, where the Route 13 starts there at the remnants of the, at the remnants of Terminal 2. Yeah, that whole that 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 works really well. It's really pleasant and it's really quick and. Um, yeah. So, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not even looking at any other options for ways to get there. Not to mention that it's it's substantially closer. Um, getting to that warehouse from where where I get dropped off uh, from the uh, from the Route 13 versus uh, Route 67. All right, sorry I'm not making a whole lot of sense today. I, I've had too many of these videos lately, and um, oh, so things, yeah, things are supposed to be getting done. That I'm just like, I feel like I've made no substantial progress on anything for for days. And part of it is just d depression, where it's it's hard to get out of bed, or like I go out and and the things I try to do, it's just so much frustration and, and, and difficult bus riding that by the time I get home I'm just you know not down I'm just not up to working on anything or, or you know, whatever little bit I do get down I don't uh, not much um, so I, I'm pretty sure I had an appointment with uh, Adam this week um, Adam the job coordinator Adam I mean, I know I met him last week for the, for the intake of VR, and I had, and then I had, last week is so blurry to me this week. Um, that's a big RV. No, no, that's not an RV, it's a delivery van. A CO, whatever that stands for. Um, I can't seem to think coherently today at all. Uh, no, I, 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 so yeah, I, that's right. Yeah, so last week I went through and did all the Amazon stuff with him through, through my docs, all getting basically all my, 
paperwork ready for Amazon. They said they're going to send me training videos, and I think they have sent me another email, and I've got to sort that out. Um, yeah, there's things I could have worked on, to be honest. Internet stuff I could have worked on when I got home yesterday. But the whole yesterday's journey just took so much out of me. By the time I got home, I just wasn't really down to work on anything. Um, I should be looking to see when my bus shows up. God, my, my thoughts today are just colliding in such a way like I I know I'm, I'm thinking of things that I need to need to do and then as I try to vocalize them it just it's just a big noisy it's a big noisy buzz in my head I can't think okay it's 1 50 p.m. oh so when I so I'm, I, I so last week last week I had my See, I, last year was doing really good. I remember that. And, and I had my intake with VR, which was seemed like a borderline waste of time, but, you know, did it. But then after that, Adam and I did all the stuff I needed to do for, uh, for step into my shoe. Uh, did all the things I needed to do for, um, for Amazon that I could do at that time. And then he dropped me off the warehouse that I'm heading to again today to get the information that I needed for my shoes, which I did get. Um, the shoe thing didn't become a failure until the following day. So, oh, that was Thursday. I remember now that was Thursday. It's all coming together. Um, anyway, I, I'm, I'm reasonably sure that I scheduled another appointment this week with... Uh, and I'm just to make sure I have everything in line, you know, ready for Amazon next week. And, and, and something's sticking in my shoe. It's driving me crazy. It feels like I can't tell what it is. Um, oh, yeah, I was trying to figure out when my bus is going to be here. I mean, I've already resigned myself to waiting and going this route, but... 1.51 p.m. It says it's scheduled at 2.17. It'll show up at 2.19. So, 51.01. Holy shit, that's a long time. That's over 30 minutes. And they just added another minute on. Now they're saying it's going to show up to 220. I'm so tired of this. And, and the worst thing is, is that my insurance expired on my car two days ago. So even if I got my car fixed at this point, I can't afford to insure it. So, and my insurance rates have gone up dramatically, 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 like three times uh, what it used to be. So... My old method of saving money by prepaying it um, in full six months in advance, like that's not, I'm just, I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. God, 220? Are you fucking kidding me? So over, definitely over a 30 minute wait here. Well, hey, at least the bus is actually running. It's up at, it's up at Tatum and Shea. in that. Wow, this is insane because I've already shot 15 minutes worth of video. And I've already shot 15 minutes worth of video. And I've got 30 minutes worth of bus weight left. So we're looking at 40, like 45 minutes. 45 minutes! Just to successfully travel more than two blocks from my home before before I will have succeeded moving over to my This is this is insane. This is insane. I understand why people are fucking doing drugs and just checking out. Like I'm 
I'm I'm almost ready to do that myself. I just this is now I'm actually worried I'm not gonna make it there before five, even though I left before two. minutes worth of video and I still haven't coherently stated anything I'm dealing with it's insurance my insurance expired three days ago I opened my bill you know and 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 I always struggle with getting my mail on time um, and part of that has to do with it's just, I just I don't know I struggle with mail and it's it's always been a struggle it's gotten exponentially worse since Priscilla moved in with me because a lot of times she checked the mailbox and then mail you know like at least when I when it was only me checking the mailbox Granted, I didn't check it as, as frequently as I probably should have, but at least I was the only one checking it, so I sort of had a system, and I would only go check it when I was ready to deal with it. Um, so when I would, you know, uh, when I would get it, I would I would, I would deal with it. Um, whereas now, like Priscilla inevitably gives it to me at a time when I'm I'm not ready to deal with it, so I end up setting it down somewhere, and then I forget. Oh, we have a problem with the truck. Burning right, not having enough clearance to get around the corner. Look at the I guess he waited out all the traffic trying to turn out and make it. turn left. No, some of them waited there. Stuff like that makes me think I would hate being a trucker. I mean, I would love being on the road, on the freeway, driving on the freeway, but that would that would stress me the hell out. And I don't know that he really had an option because I don't think at that corner, you know, it's not wide enough that he could, could have completed the corner with all the people in the left-hand turn lane there. And as far as like swinging out wide, there's so much traffic in the adjacent lanes. I don't think he had the option to swing out wide either. And had he tried to get in the middle lane, I'm sure some asshole would have tried to pass him on the right, making it impossible for him to make that turn. Yeah, I don't even want to pop, pop that as an idiot trucker. I think that's just a, an issue of infrastructure not accommodating the type of vehicle that, that needs to be on it. I think that's what that that, that was. As little as I know about what it takes to drive a truck around a corner like that. People sitting at the bus stop. I don't feel comfortable sitting next to you, so I'm just gonna sit here on the on the irrigation thingy. Um, so yeah, uh, the job I was trying to hopefully get the contract driving thing. I mean, I still don't have my car. I haven't heard from Rob. My daughter says she has heard from Rob, and he's super sick with COVID. Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. I think the least he could do is send me a text message explaining what's going up, what's going on, and, and doesn't he have employees that work for him that could do the job anyway? exceedingly frustrated that I don't have my car. Now when I get my car, of course I'm going to be getting it back and it won't be legal because it no longer has insurance. So basically I have a six month prepaid policy. I got to drive two months. That's frustrating. Um, I suppose at some point I need to go talk to my insurance agent and figure out what the fuck I'm doing. But I mean, I don't, I don't know, you know, what's the procedure for my car's broke down and it's hasn't been drivable for fucking ever so you know what do I do I don't even know um, but I, I do know that at this point if I don't resolve it soon I'll be getting a letter from the MVD informing me that my registration has been suspended so maybe I need to talk to the MVD and not my insurance company um, and I'm sure part of the insurance is kind of temper right now for insurance I'm sure part of the reason that rate went through the roof is uh, the two two accents I had was a, a little over six months ago. Um, first one pretty much all came out of uh, whoever insures VIP taxi. Uh, but the second one, my insurance company, I'm sure paid for it in full. I remember getting a getting an email at one point saying they found me 100% at fault. I'm just like, yeah, alright, whatever. I mean... 
granted, I did a maneuver that was, you know, not the best. But it, the traffic, the layout of the traffic was really, the way layout of the road, like what they'd done with their construction detours was retarded. And, and the person who hit me definitely was not slowed down to the speed that the sign said that they should be going in the construction zone. And, and even with me pulling in front of them, I mean, why were they going so fast they couldn't stop? Why did they just plow right into me? I have people pull in front of me all the fucking time. I don't plow into them. I don't know. Really frustrated with myself because I, I feel like going into that, going into that, I could have shot video of how the, the, the intersection was and I could have gone to traffic court and I could have maybe successfully fought it on the basis of I don't think the signs were put in in compliance of the law and even if they were they were extremely ambiguous as to what way I was supposed to go with construction signs um, I basically there were giant lights saying to go to the left but in fact I needed to go to the right so I went to the left as the signs directed and then realized that I needed to go to the right when I had gone to the left as the signs had directed them so then I tried to figure out how to drive through the cones and whatnot to get back to where I needed to be. And I was focused so much on that obstacle course that I didn't see the vehicle that went the direction that they were that I was supposed to go, which was contradictory to what the sign said to do. And apparently they were doing it so fast that they didn't see me coming that way and smashed into me. So that's that's how that went down. Um, Anyway, they, I'm sure my, you know, and, and maybe things would have come out differently had I, had I went and had I beat that in court, I'm sure that would, I would imagine, you know, I would imagine if, if the, uh, if the court reversed the ticket and said, yep, you're not, you know, that's, you navigated that in a reasonable way based on those signs being misleading and, and contradictory, um, I would imagine the insurance company would have had to... It, it, I mean, obviously somebody had to pay for the damage. But I think they could have, you know, if the court of law found that I was not at fault for a traffic violation, I would imagine that it would have been... You know, uh, of course, the other person didn't get a ticket. Even though it's pretty obvious to me they were speeding in a construction zone where I think it was you know, the speed limit of 25 miles an hour. Um... So, so, um, yeah, but, uh, um, Arizona does have a provision where they can, uh, in, in insurance adjustments, they can, they can decide that certain parties are, are both at fault or what percentage each party is at fault and, um, Anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I got a default on the ticket because I didn't make my court date and I just paid the fine and now my insurance rates are going through the roof for a car that doesn't even run. My future looks grim and looking at my what I owe, you know, my credit card balances, that was kind of disturbing. Um, struggling to make minimum payments and, and realizing how little of the principal minimum payments has taken care of. I mean, I understand that's how credit cards work. I've always understood that's how credit cards work, but I've never been in a situation where I'm struggling to make minimum payments. You know, I've always had enough income coming through that um, I used to always be, I, you know, it, it, in, unless some unexpected high expense came up, I would always pay between 50 50 and 95 percent of whatever my balance was every time a credit card statement went in, but I tried to pretty much always pay it back. I, I did have a couple times where, like, there were some personal emergencies and I had to run some shit up on the, on the, on the you know, emergency car repairs or like the emergency trip I made a few years back when my uh, sister was in a motorcycle accident and the family needed help over there, which of course killed my sister. Um, I went to Oklahoma and pretty much that was all on, on the credit card and that 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 bumped up my balance a lot because not only did I actually I didn't rent a car for that I was gonna say I rented a car for that but I didn't rent a car I took my Lexus for that 
But still, like I, that's the first I, that's the first and only time I ever did a cash advance on my car. Yeah, or on my car, on my cards. So yeah, that didn't get paid off immediately. But still, like even in the months after that, like once I got back to Arizona, I got back to work and and yeah, I think I think the next next my the next next bill I might have done a minimum payment on it just because that month, you know, I was trying to just trying to recover from basically not working for the better part of a month due to a family emergency. But the month after that I don't know, I sent about you know, sent the credit card company a few hundred dollars. I know I had it all paid off in, in I wanna say I had it and all of that paid off in less than a year. Quick time. Now the little thing on the statement I looked at today for Capital One was talking about how long it'll how long it would take to pay it off I paid off in three years and how long it'd take to pay it off I keep paying minimum payments. It's just like, yeah, okay, thanks for showing me the map. I kinda knew that, but ouch. Um I don't know. And I wish I had some understanding of how much I'm like when they say how much an hour like I don't know what that's gonna be minus taxes and how many hours I'm really gonna get. So until I see an actual check in hand, it's really hard for me to wrap my head around these numbers. I wish I was gonna be a farm neighbor just kinda of going into it and hoping for the best. So nobody else is really offering me anything. Um but now I'm I'm just having so much trouble with bus transit, you know, transportation and getting places that I'm really skeptical of how long I'll be able to hold down the job and then even how, uh, how if I'm going to have issues starting because I can't even seem to figure out how to get their, their shoes and work their website or, or get help with that. Speaking of things that I, I can't seem to figure out how to do, um, I'm, I, so I've received, in fact, I think it came in on Saturday, I've received my SIM card for Mint Mobile to put my main phone number back into my uh, back into my iPhone, uh, it doesn't come with much data, and that was intentional. Um, I got a super. I, I got the not the cheapest plan they have, but the next one up, and and, and that's fine. You know, I'm pretty good about trying not to do things that, that use a lot of data. I mean, for a while there, I was really abusing the free data I was getting from uh, from. Uh, the free, apparently un unlimited, pretty quick data I was getting from uh, Assurance Wireless, you know. But that that uh, that windfall aside, you know, I, I've been throttled on cricket enough times. I got kind of got in the habit of uh, only really, you know, using using significant amounts of data if I'm on Wi-Fi and 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 and. And, and honest, honestly, even like making the choice of what bars I want to hang out based at, based on on who's got the good Wi-Fi and what friends I, I, I what friends I want to visit based on who's got accessible Wi-Fi, just kind of is what it is. Something I need. Um, so um, so now that I've got that, I realize that because it's it's I I was hoping that my friend Jeff would help me because he's the cell phone guy, but I've sent him probably. In the last four or five days, I've, I think I've sent him three or four text messages and still no reply from him, um, which is not good. Now, my girlfriend said that she did hear from him, and my guess is she's calling probably messages over Facebook hearing from him. I, I refuse to be part of uh, anything, Zuckerberg. So y'all won't be seeing me in the metaverse, just like I've never been on Facebook and I've never been on uh, on. Uh, Snapchat, and I won't be installing WhatsApp either. Um, there's so many things wrong. The way that guy harvests and sells people's personal data, it just, it's just increasing the fuck out. And, and it bothers me to know that there's probably a profile on, on me just based upon other things people have posted with my name on it, you know, an image on it, and whatnot. It's, it's really dystopian and. And, and granted, I suppose I'm probably a hypocrite considering how much I use Google services and how much I also use Apple services. Um, and the fact that I'm, and let's not forget, uh, you know, how much I'm probably giving to the Chinese government by being on, uh, on uh, TikTok as well as Snapchat. But I don't know, just to me, 
all the Zuckerberg sites are especially egregious. So anyway, I, um, I, I digress. So she, he, he, she contacted, said she heard from him, and I'm sure it was probably just via um, Facebook. Be my guess. She spends a lot of time on Facebook. That's honestly, and then the, how much time she spends on Facebook that she doesn't spend. You know, she doesn't spend with me because she's spending her time with her face and Facebook is a, is a large part of also why I'm not interested in being on Facebook. Um, but that's another story entirely. Okay, so now it's saying the bus is going to show up at 218. Hey, wow, I've never seen that happen before. It just blanked, blanked from showing that it was going to be late at 218 to showing on time at 217. Which was kind of cool. The last time I looked at it, it was saying that it was not going to show up till 2:20. So, props to that driver for taking advantage of the fact that hardly anybody ever gets on or off the bus between um, Shea and Camelback, and and, and and possibly risking photo radar ticket to get that bus back on time. Uh, so let me see where he's at. He's at Indian School. So mile and a half off. I should probably wrap this up soon. I should probably be wrapping this up soon. I can't believe I kept video rolling this long, but just trying to get things off my mind, and my mind's a big cloudy mess right now. Um, Oak Street, 17. It's 10, so seven more minutes. I'll roll five more minutes on this. Fuck it. Fuck it. Um, let's see. I talked about the insurance, talked about um, a little bit about my struggles. Uh, so anyway, I got my Mint Mobile thing, and I'm a little confused as to what I need to do to, there's additional stuff I need to do to retain my phone number, and I think some of the information I need is in the box and paperwork that I got from, from the, my first Obama phone, which I absolutely cannot find. Now, I do have, I do have the, uh, um, what do you call it? Oh, the person that was waiting for this bus is, doesn't seem to be waiting for this bus anymore. I'm not even going to say that was a bum loitering. I mean, as long as I've been waiting for this bus, I, I'm not surprised that the person who was at that bus stop just was, after, you know, 30 plus minutes, said, uh, fuck this, probably faster to walk. Make sure I got one. I'm struggling with this 20 inch bike. Something about a grown man with a 20 inch bike just strikes me as wrong. Especially one that smells like that guy. Uh, anyway, moving right along. Um, the, uh, I was going to say the, oh, Mint Mobile. Yeah, so, anyway, according to the, the, paperwork came with my sim card and i've never exchanged i've never done a sim card exchange myself i've always had somebody who's like a cell phone shop or 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 my friend jeff who functionally is a cell phone shop um handle that for me um but he uh there's anyway uh according to the the website that i looked at the paperwork with it I need to have, in order to, to move my phone number over, which is very important, I need to have, I, um, I need to, there's a thing I need, I need to, I need to handle that before I turn the phone on. In other words, I can't do like I did with, uh, assurance and get the phone on and then use the number that comes with it and then a month, month and a half into using Mint shut that phone number down and move my my old number to it. That's something even though Assurance was capable of doing something, that's something Mint doesn't do. Mint states very clearly in their, in their fact that, that that needs to be the, the number needs to be moved over first. Which I'm sure is going to give me a couple of, a couple of it could potentially give me a couple of days without that number working, which, you know, whatever. Um, but uh yeah, that that needs to be done first. That that if I activate it with the number that it, it came with, that that's which I'm not even sure what that number is. That that number will become my phone number, and I will be stuck with that for the duration as long as I'm with Mint. And at this point, I've prepaid for six months. So, um, 
yeah so i need to figure out what to do and they say that i need my pin number which i have a photograph of the box that the first obama phone came with and it's got the pin number on it so i have that and my phone number which obviously i i know i've had that for 13 years and but the other thing that i need to have he says my account number which you know that's on your bill i don't receive a bill i don't receive a bill from that i don't even know what my account number is everything that i've that i've had to do with um like when i when i added my ten dollars to prepay so i could get the phone at least functional this month i uh wow that fucking hurt um oh i can finally see my bus uh, anyway, when I when I did that, uh, the only thing their website asked me for was the phone number and my pen number. So I got to figure out what my what my account number is. I'm thinking it might be in the paperwork that I got with the phone, but I can't I can't find that anywhere. So of course the obvious thing would be to, to maybe call their customer service, but the phone number for customer service was also in the paperwork, which I can't find anywhere. So I'm a, a little bit at a loss as to what to do. Um, Hopefully I can get that. I can get that taken care of. That's a big deal. That's something I need to take, take care of today. And the other thing I definitely need to try to take, get taken care of that's something that's done over the phone is, or, or website is I need to try to get my social security card replaced. And I remember I walked there, and I'm sure I vlogged the walk over there. Um, well, some of it. In fact, I think that was I did that after I came back from the warehouse the last time on Thursday. So it was six days ago. Um, when Adam brought me, I remember, it's funny, I remember this now. Yeah, Adam brought me to, to the Amazon warehouse I'm headed to. And I got my paperwork about how to get the shoes, which didn't work. That's another story. Um, that's, a, that's a separate tragedy. And then the, the, I went to, and from there, yeah, I rode the, rode the bus. Gosh, now I vividly remember. It's so weird how some things I vividly remember, and then sometimes I can't remember my own my own uh, kids' birthdays. Um, yeah, after that I went to, uh, I went, went to get the, went to Social Security. Anyway, here's my boss, I gotta wrap this up.